Hello, welcome to Erin Lee's Beauty. I'm Erin, and today I got a couple Ipsy mystery bags to open up with you. And this was the Ipsy one, I think was for the May one. I don't know, either way, the bag is really pretty. I love the flowers on it. This looks like something I would wear. And then I have this November mystery bag from Ipsy, which is a pretty big size one here. So if you like subscriptions, makeup, or beauty in general, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. And let's go ahead and start opening up this, uh, the Ipsy Glam Bag mystery. And it came with this outside of the bag, so let's look at this first. This is a brush. It's a very nice brush. Uh, I think it's like contour or highlight, it looks like. It's really pretty. I like the diamonds on it, the sparkles. I love sparkles, diamonds, anything that shines. I love it. So I definitely like that. <clears throat> Next thing I'm pulling out here is a Bitten Lipstick by Carmella. And this is what the packaging looks like. <clears throat> Go ahead and open it because I have no clue what color it is. It just says fit in. So, I'm wondering. Okay, it's a more neutral tone. I'm not going to swatch this in case I might give it to someone. But this is a more neutral color. I have a lot of these kinds of lipsticks. That's why I'm not going to swatch it. But I do like the color and the packaging. It's very classy looking. I love that. Next thing I have Ooh. is Macaroon Magic Essential Lip Balm and Oil. That's what that looks like. I'm not also not going to open that. And this is a vitamin C face scrub. This I will open. It does have the protective seal on it. I do smell slight citrusy in there. I'm not sure what else I smell in there, but I will be really excited to try this out. And last thing in here is a Freematic highlighter from Dolce. Go ahead and open this and see what it looks like here. It's really tiny. Oh, I was trying to open it the wrong way the whole time. It just lifts right up. And here's the color for you. It's like a gold shimmer. Not crazy about the packaging. Okay, and this is what it looks like on the skin. It's really not, that's the kind of highlighter I like. Something that's light, not too much, not too in your face highlighter. I don't like the iridescent looking color ones, but this I do like. So that was it for the first bag that I have. I also actually absolutely love this bag and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. It's just such a nice, it seems more thick and durable than the normal Ipsy bags is why I really like it. Okay, next up is the November mystery bag. Let's go ahead and open this and see what's in here. First thing I'm pulling out is an ice roller. And I've always wanted to try one of these, but I haven't had the luxury of trying one yet. So I am excited to try out this product and see how it goes. I wonder if you store it in the freezer. Yes, you keep it in the freezer. Okay. This is going to be fun. I could give myself like little facials at home. Let's open it and see what it looks like since I'm definitely going to be using this. Okay, wow. 
It seems like a pretty durable device, which is nice. I'm glad they didn't send me like a, a cheap piece of crap, you know. It seems like a very good, durable product. So we'll have to be trying that out as well. Next thing in here is Dr. Brandt Skin, uh, Skin Recovery Sleeping Mask. And this is what the inside packaging looks like. It does have a protective seal, so I'm not going to open it right now because it's just a mask. And, oh, it's a sleeping mask. Let me see. Interesting. So this is a mask that you do not wash off. You just put on your skin at the end of the night. It doesn't have much of a scent to it, which I like with skincare products. So that is good. I'll be looking forward to try that out. The next thing is One Hit Prime Set Refresh Dewy Finishing Face Spray. been like really struggling to get packages open today I don't know why okay and this is what the bottle looks like can't really smell it to it I'm not gonna open and spray this because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing with it yet if I'm gonna be giving it to someone or if I'm gonna be keeping it myself so I'll go ahead and put that to the side. The next item, I definitely will be using this. It's Violet Voss Lip Gloss. See if the shade that it's in. Okay, let's go ahead and get this open. I don't really have anything on my lips right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. This is very, very cute. I love how the top is uh, clear, almost looks like a gem. And this is in the shade Romantical. Oh, I love the applicator on this. I like these kind of applicators that just kind of like hold the extra product in there for you. So you don't have to keep going back in with more product. I like it. It's very good for like natural looks or really any look in general. That's what I like about the clear looking lip glosses when they go on. Okay, and last but certainly not least is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Chella palette. I say that like that because it's gold and it's heavy duty feeling and looking. It's like a rose gold color, but still. The colors in here are awesome and I love how it comes with a little brush a little applicator and a brush in there for you and also it looks like these pans are removable so you can put them in other things yep they're magnetic so you can take them out and put them in other things if you wanted to I normally do for most of my eyeshadows but however this eyeshadow palette is just so beautiful in itself I don't think I would want to take it out of the packaging and put it in one of my own. I like this. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. And if not, if anything, it's just so beautiful. I like to add it to my collection of palettes. Well, that's everything that I had for you today. I don't have an estimated value on the bags because they don't come with any kind of cards because they are mystery bags. But I'm Erin. Thanks so much again for watching.